Hey, this is Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and I'm going to show you how to make an easy paper punch dot garland for your Christmas tree. So hang on, here we go. I got a one inch circle punch. Um, you can use any size punch that you would like. I got my glue gun, some baker's twine, or any kind of twine or string that you would like. I'm going to start off by just punching circles out of my paper of my choice. You can use wrapping paper. This is scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. And you just punch a bunch of circles or any shape, whatever shape you choose. Um, I tend to turn my punch upside down and that way I can see exactly where I'm punching out of the paper. Just makes it simple and easy so you don't have to guess where you're punching. Um, I'm just using these several patterns. Like I said, you can use them all solids. You can do any pattern you would like. Wrapping paper would make pretty ones. Um, then you're going to make little piles and get your assembly line going. Then I take my, my baker's twine, or you could use jute or any kind of string that you have. Fishing line works really good too, because then you can't see it on your tree. And I'm just gonna put down my circle and put a dot of hot glue on my string, and then put the top piece over the top. I like to match up the both sides of my dot, you know, front and back. And you can either do this in a pattern, or you could do it um, random as you would like. You could do the front and backs different different colors or you can have them match. I just have mine match front and back, but then I try to do a pattern. But sometimes I get lost in what I'm doing in the pattern and it gets messed up, but nobody's gonna know. So I'm just doing that here. I just go along and pull your string across there, put a dot of hot glue, and then put the top on and press it down, smooth it out and then move on to the next one. This goes along pretty quickly, um, depending on how long you want it and how big your tree is. Um, I don't know exactly how many feet I did, but it was enough to go around my tree about three or four good times, and I have just a regular seven-foot Christmas tree. So I used a good bit of this uh, twine, but I think the Baker's twine adds a little extra something-something to it. The red and white striped, or you could use the green. It comes in all different colors. You can get it at Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree. So here I am just putting a dot of glue, putting the top back on again, and you just make a little assembly line. You could get your kids involved in this and help them, uh, let them help you punch the dots out of the paper, and you could glue. Be a good family um, little craft to do. Just adds a little something to your Christmas tree. Here it is on my tree. I went back and put the buffalo check in between my color dots uh, as an afterthought. And this is how it looks on my crafty tree that I have. With all my crafty ornaments on my tree. Most of those ornaments that you see, I've had tutorials for. You can always go back to my page and watch those. I would love for you to like and follow my page and thanks for watching and Merry Christmas, guys.